Hello there all you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. I am Dan, your friendly in the game Viking. And in today's video we are going into space. That is right, we are taking a look at Trigon Space Story by Russian based Senior Tech. So if you want to know more about this roguelike space adventure game, then you come to the right place. So grab a cup with your favorite drink, set course for the nearest star system and let's engage the hyperdrive. All right, here we are, Trigon Space Story, and we start off with the humans right away. Welcome to this. After shaking off another Venator patrol, you're trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear. I click. Okay, this is the tutorial part. You could say this early access, so they are just uh, using images instead of actually having some type of uh, balance to it or do it step by step because there are a lot of controls here as you can see up to the left there's a lot of errors that could happen and you can actually move your characters around or your space crew for that matter you have like sophia here is working on the shield and every time you move you lose some energy and they actually eat some food uh, you're exploring nearby station and planets. The near, new rig might have led to many colonies to abandonment and destruction. This system has nothing to explain except for the rules. Okay, so not all star system you land in is going to be battled, but up here is the energy you can see. And it costs four hamburgers and one <laughs> plutonium to actually move. But that's not the correct word, it's food and energy, I would guess. Local colony witnessed a murder. And we're gonna inter interrogate it and investigate it. So here you can choose if you want to or not. And we're gonna try to detain the murderer, but he begins hunting you back. And we narrowly escape death. What can't we say? They killed one of our crew members. That is rude. But basically, they are. Oh, Ling, you will be missed for sure. But we got 150 coins. Uh, the ships are classical human ships. They are energy efficient Atari ships. I think it's one we can try out next after this one and also the bio biomechanical rocks i think they are called don't mind my pronunciation while i try to navigate around here and the tear ticones ones pretty bad let's see if someone wants to fight while playing past the abandoned station you notice several signs meaning that there are hired units we can hire units that's good so we can either hire good units or we hire ordinary units of course we will take the good ones wonder if it costs more money though. Uh, we got one Harry. Hello Harry, he's a human. And that is Kaora. So what you can do on the ship is you can place Kaora here uh, to any station where you expect that he needs to do things. Like there for instance. No. Oh, oop. <laughs> if you wonder why he's suffocating is that you can actually open the space doors into space. Luckily he didn't get sucked out but he can go here and manage the oxygen levels on the ship if you get attacked or get into battle. There's also like energy shields, uh, medical bay, scanning, and the captain is on front, of course. Uh, but the tutorial is pretty simplified in the beginning. Uh, so let's go heal him first, I think. And then he can return to the station. But it's a roguelike. And if you haven't played roguelike before, you will die pretty fast in this game so don't mind that one at all it's based on you dying repeatedly losing your progress and trying again until you're good enough to play the game and progress or the RNG drops you with a good crew here we got pretty good crew from the start so let's see where we can go because you have to jump between all the systems and there should be space stations where we can uh, you spend our coins get new crew get food get scrap items scrap materials are used to uh, repair your ship basically and roguelike games if you haven't played one before maybe you played or if you remember notice like darkest dungeon for instance Hades, slay the spire binding of isaac that's kind of game mechanic but here it's in space but there are the different races of course let's see you come across a aristocrat atari fleet and they want to share wine with us. Of course we want to get some wine. Let's see what happens. Uh, we could enjoy wine and small talk. However, you are not in the mood. But I said I was in the mood. Sad. 
But yeah, they are the humans, the warmongering and dangerous rocks. And sophisticated and super supercilious Atari and the mysterious and shrewd Terticones. Okay, that's someone who cut the story short, Captain. I'm not going to follow the book. I'll destroy you quickly to get the reward. So we are hunted, basically. So let's fight. And since we have one person in our scanning, we can actually see the other ones in the ship. Usually we can't see, and down here to the right we can fire away at the specific station. So if we want to bring down the shields first, then we can do that. And then it can do basically the same, and if they hit enough of it, it will stop working. One is the doors, for instance, so we can, we can actually trap them inside their station, but I think we're going to try to go for the shields first. Sounds are good, really good. And the music's nice, it's... A little bit like Star Trek, and I love Star Trek, especially Voyager. Like that. So now he got the shield department is damaged, and he started to fix it. And we just want to shoot our rockets towards the shield part of the airship. I don't know if it's the best tactic, probably not, but seems like a good place to start at least. Could actually target their firing department also, because they don't have any units there. But yeah, the, those different like humans and uh, rocks and everything here is a little bit like uh, humans, Klingons, Vulcans, and perhaps Ferengi. Oops, our medical place, medical bay is broken. But we will continue to fire at their shields because they sent in two people there now. But yeah, we have. There's going to be laser. Laser turrets, plasma cannons, bombs, drones. I think you're supposed to be able to like teleport yourself over to them and start bashing them also. A little bit like Star Trek. But yeah. Grab the oxygen flask from this dummy. And there we go. We won our first battle. And immediately we will stay here. The battle turned out to be much harder than you could have imagined. You move on gathering the resources in hope not to stumble across such a venator again. So we got larger bounty, more weapons, more coins, food, scrap, fuel, and a speed fire rocket. That's good bounty, right? So let's see. Can she, if you send them there, they start to repair the station immediately. But you can obviously die of suffocation or lack of air. I don't know if all the... It's pretty weird. They, even the aliens need air. But let's see here. She fixed that one and you can speed up and slow down. You can press space to actually pause the game and start to think about your moves. Uh, if you need to do that, I should probably be better at that, but I get too excited going to space battle. So let's see. It's pretty broken and at the moment, I don't know why it's broken. But we will let her man mine that station. Those looking good. These are the different systems that we have people standing in to repair and give bonus to. It's good to always have a captain also. So let's see, where do we head next? Because eventually we will die. You don't have to worry about that. It's either ships explode or something else. It looks good. Upon your arrival at the system, you are contacted by a local colony of miners. It looks quite poor. And you can see here, we are in the nebula. That it interferes our sensors, but it will also save us. And they need help with space bandits. So we will adjust their weapons to manage to defend themselves. And for that, we will get some coins. And uh, let's see. I know it's a bit of RNG because if you do this one, I know you also can be attacked on your way out that the cannons start firing randomly at everyone. But yeah, nebulous and other things. Here are our hull or cargo hold where we hold our hamburgers and missiles. And we can't put that one there. Can we put that one there? No. Maybe we need to replace one of the others. 
it's a bomb teleporter, so we can teleport bombs. If we had bombs, we could actually send them over. Here's a lovely crew, and you see we're a little bit damaged. But all in all, we're not here to witness the nice ship. We're here to destroy things. But yeah, food is going to be a problem. As you can see, it's slowly ticking away. And also fuel. So let's see, maybe we will die from that also. But they also say that we're going to face a lot of moral issues like... Uh, Loyalty and difficult life choices. I don't know what they have. There are miners. You carefully maneuver between the asteroids and charge your energy engine for the leap. But love and hatred comes to play, so it's a buff and debuff on your crew also. And they have strength and weaknesses. And we have quests, of course, and we have bosses to fight and get more abilities. Telepathy, hacking, battle fury, and many more. So I know this game has a lot to offer if you get into get past the initial hurdle of uh, it's being a roguelike and you can die a lot. Uh, something radar is maybe where is everyone? I need to find Ron in this whole S A S A P. So we sacrifice this crew member. This. Station was assaulted by strangers. Many sentient creatures were killed. Trigon on the wall. Scare him. Soon he comes across a Terticon in the recycling module without any evidence of damage and take it to the ship. And that is something that will get the description eventually. The asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answer answers a hidden inside lucky ticket. According to the sign on its body, it's number 213114. It will be hard to turn it on. Half of its brain got burnt. You need to find someone who will restart it despite all the prohibition. Possible it should be another tear to go on. That has already reconsidered its life. It looks like you have to go to the pirate station. There's no other place where you can find a tear to They can turn another robot on for money. A uh, new quest. And we don't know where that is because we have to explore the different galaxies or starships. But we are starving at the moment. So if we get into battle, we might die. Another game that is like this. I don't know if you played it, but it's FTL, Faster Than Light, if you play that one. This one reminds me a little bit about that one. So let's see where to go, though. Let's go there and see what happens when we are hungry. But every time you play this, it's going to be a different path developer set. So you can take on a new role. You can play as a goody two shoe space captain Kirk, or you can be a space pirate like Khan, for instance. It's all up to you. Oops, nice sounds. Very ambient and good. Pulsars are unstable and dangerous stars. Their electromagnetic pulses are constantly damaging the ships. Electronic devices, gotcha. And now we get into battle. Great ramp up of music. And you can see on the floor of the ship that we are doing badly, but I'm thinking we're gonna focus on the uh, shields for now. But we lost our sensors, so we can no longer see into the ship. So we are basically... Oh, he is hurting badly also. Why is he hurting badly? Harry. Go, go heal up, Harry. There we go. But yeah, it's good to pause, probably. But for the sake of seeing everything... And we have no bombs to send over, and our targeting system or things are broken and they are starving so we might actually die no worries Harry is on the job but they have free pass to shoot us as, as can, oh jerks fire thank you give me back my systems we could shoot their oxygen also of course to hurt them but I have a little feeling hold on baby my little space alien said oh, we'd won let's hope they have food 
Uh, we got five hamburgers. You get the wreckage while waiting for the hyperdrive to get charged. You can only hope. You can probably hyperdrive while in battle also. But I would guess that actually uh, could take some time to do. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's where we need to jump afterwards. Uh, here, perhaps. The really nice backgrounds and the graphics look good. They offer you a job as courier in the system. The job seems to be unchallenging, but it's worth your time. Hey, are we a tourist? We're gonna smuggle some notes. Of course. Uh, we could also destroy the ship if we want another battle, but we are hungry and we are low on fuel soon and they are currently repairing the ship. So, what do we think about replayability? Well, since it's a roguelike you will have a lot of replayability because every time it's partly different and also if you die constantly you'll play it again if you like it and have really fun with it. Some playthroughs might even end really fast. Or well, like this one will probably slowly start. But you can also have actually traders among your, your crew. And that is pretty cool. So where to though? Because I can't see right now any space stations. So probably in one of those we haven't visited and you can see how large the space map is so there should be a lot to do. But at the moment I don't know where to go. Because everywhere we go they will need to find food. It would be cool if the ship actually had like one station for food. Or we could just put one crew member in charge of always producing food. Because I guess they don't have replicators on the ship. No. Shields are bad, ship are bad, you can see the blinking to the left. Oh wait, Annihilator, this... <laughs> uh, this might be a fight we will not win. But you know what? Then it's time to test the other one. Come on, give me a direct hit. Maybe it doesn't work to just shoot that one. Because they, they also target our ship shields so come on Harry do your thing and remove him here to repair a little bit and let's see how Ooh. Uh, it's critical we could say no time for prayer so that is the correct our crew members know <laughs> where are the shields they are working on it and shields are down and we are captain is dying we are dying congratulations to your first space battle and how we managed to do that it's not bad at all we lose but we will try the other one when the best part you can play this only with the mouse if you like so you can drink coffee at the same time let's go for the atari and see they bring oh look at that nice spaceship and the same kind of start uh, it's a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows pretty well where to go so we get a new quest and early access for this one here you can see them again you see a part of more interactive uh, tutorial would be preferable I would say because it's easy to forget all these things if you just see them on an image next time you when you actually need to use them but yeah turn on and off weapons and stuff like that and hyper jump you can do it in battles okay so now we have a crew of two but the game is going to early access in q1 this year if you're interested in it it's gonna aim for PC, Mac, Linux and Switch. It could be really fun. So what do you think? Would it fit like a multiplayer kind of thing? Because it reminds me a little bit also about the a mobile game with Star Trek I played a lot. 
they offer you a job <laughs> it's basically the same job we can choose either to take the notes or get the message and destroy the ship or simply refuse i guess they wonder if they will attack us then but hey we are we are the goody two shoe captain Uh, pirate message description will come later but yeah so we can get ships from all the four i don't know the criteria to get all the four races but i guess you play them play enough to get them eventually uh, and now upon your arrival at the system you're contacted by a local colony of miners i think this one is the same thank god someone didn't turn a deaf ear to our calls uh, and there are pirates, plunder, so we can arrange, arrange a surprise attack or help them adjust to the old system of planet defense. Let's go for a surprise attack. On the colony, which does happen two hours later, you activate the weapon system and catch them unawares. Unaware, probably. But yeah, uh, well, they are a flying triangle with a drone. You can see on top of our ship, they have some kind of drone. We don't have fancy drones. We just have regular weapons. And they already hurt our O2 capabilities or oxygen. So this is going to be a rough playthrough because we are only two. So let's see what's next to shoot at. Oh, this looks beautiful. We took out the doors though. But, uh, oh, maybe we can take out the door so it actually open up, like, uh, right into the space so they get, oh, I think our, our ship is badly damaged. <laughs> Units begin to asphyxiate, yes, but we won that one. Who needs air? I Meanwhile, we'll come up with some good ideas. Take this small reward. Appreciate appreciation. Yes. A lot of money. Scraps. Drone replicant. Allows you to have your drone created. Oh. Ooh. That is good stuff. But they are slowly. Slowly suffocating. Let's open some doors. And go fix this one first. But still, we're gonna see how long it takes for them to actually. So, how long do we have air the ship? Let him go there and let's see if he can fix it. He got healed, and yes, there we go. You see, <laughs> I love the little dialogues. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's still not hundred percent online though. That one I don't really know why, but it doesn't seem to be broken at least and well that's a good thing right uh, so what's next uh, heal up a little bit so I haven't seen I don't think you can get attacked twice if you are on the same system if you already fought so we have to move actually for things to start happening so let's see where to next and why is his compartment red still? Is it because we haven't created more oxygen for him? I don't know. I don't know. But yep, let's put him back here. Everything looks good down here. We would need another crew member though. But maybe we will run into someone. Or we could kidnap someone. That would be cool. Beam someone over. And have make them our own crew and here's another pack of miners that are being attacked by pirate fleet they're a bit repetitive some of these so i'm guessing they will build more of them when it's in early access so will we do a surprise attack perhaps or will we help them adjust a couple of minutes later it starts working to your surprise you decide to take the reward and leave the colony and suddenly you're attacked by the very system you just adjusted it seems it's attacking everything without distinction, so you rush away as quickly as possible. Okay, so that looks really cool. 
So let's see what we're gonna do now. Oh, now they're actually suffocating. Oops, and I don't know what to do. So let's put him over there. Why don't you fix it? Fix it, and he's slowly dying. And as any good captain of a ship, we will go down the ship. But he refused to die, so let's do it the old fashioned way, shall we? Open the doors. And open that door, and open that door, and there you go. No more turns for that old captain. And we lost again. Alright, so here's some thoughts about it. Uh, space battles are hard, as you can see, but it's supposed to be hard. It's a roguelike, so I think it's actually a really good level. Food and energy could be a problem in the beginning, and I think it's pretty rough to actually manage to survive right now, but until you find a way to get your food with and more energy, so to speak. But it's early access and there's plenty of room for them to evolve those things and balance it and also the same with the tutorial depending on if they want to cater to the bigger masses and probably need a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on some of the system and how they work another thing that would be really helpful would be basically to have being able to unless i missed it be able to bind like crew members to certain buttons a little bit like when you play starcraft you know one two three four find units it would be easier to just instead of trying to click on them in the heat of the battle but it's a fun and challenging space camp and you know what let's not end this journey here we talked about the gameplay uh, the story and also what you will get if you eventually decide to buy this game and play it so to give you the chance to experience even more amazing indie games i have prepared another video for you in the upcoming end screen so i will see you there and until next time stay safe and stay awesome